welcome back and today we are going to do my chic beauty box unboxing for the i think this is a march april yeah it's a march april um i want to start off by letting you guys know yes i did get it in pr so i did not pay for this box but i am aware it retails for 34.99 bi-monthly you get about five sometimes six beauty items they're all full size and you get to customize the items that you will be receiving in your box as per usual, I'll include the prices for every individual item here on screen. This is what the card inside looks like. It's so nice. And then they are going to show you the variants for the month R. And then you can kind of pinpoint what you received in your box and the prices. And this is what my box looks like. And as you can see, there's already a NARS product back here and a Huda Beauty product over here, which I'm really excited for. And I did receive five items. They're all full size. The first item I'm pulling out of the box, it's a lip contour by Huda Beauty. This is a lip liner in the shade Trend Setter. I wonder, I already own this shade, hold on. I just double checked and no, I don't already own it. I, I have the um the lippy, like the actual um bullet lippy, but oh, like this shade, is that not pretty? That's a like a beautiful nude shade. And what I like about the Huda Beauty lip liners, because that's what it is. It's called a lip contour, but it's it's a lip liner. What I like is that you don't necessarily have to go in with a lipstick on top if you don't want to. They're creamy, they're soft on the lips, and they're very opaque. They glide on beautifully. So technically you can just take this and fill your whole lips and line them at the same time. And you have like that, that's all you're gonna need on your lips, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. The Chic Beauty Box has included the brand Clarins in their boxes in the past, and I actually enjoyed it. So now here they sent over the Instant Eye Reviver. It's a reviver. And it's supposed to target fine lines. This is supposed to go under the eyeballs, I think, like at the bottom portion. If only we could open you. <gasps> okay, so I squished it and twist it and squish this some more and it's oh it smells good oh i am a messy messy girl aren't i like what you know what we're gonna do hold on let's read the instructions for a quick second hold on all right this is like you know skincare but i'm still going to just pop a little bit under the eyeballs really quickly i am so mad there's so much product in there i'm gonna end up using q-tips how do we open and close this thing oh it's backwards it wasn't a twist up it was a pull out i was supposed to pull it out that's number one and when y'all already figured what i did i twisted and squeezed and it, it did one of those but i'm definitely gonna go in with q-tips and take whatever is like left inside the cap which is a lot because i don't like to waste product so we're gonna go ahead apply this under the eyes and finish unboxing the box and then we'll be able to move on in and create a look for today using the items from the box. Wow, that smells so good. Let's move on to the next item, which happens to be by the brand Milani. It is their Moisture Lock Oil Infused Lip Treatment in the shade number six. I'm not gonna open this. I'll show you guys a quick little close up. I'm not gonna open this. I have so many balms and oils that are like open and none of them are helping. Look, like I'm not even kidding. This is so sad. Like I'm hoping that my lips go back to how they used to be after I give birth because this this is not cool and it's not comfortable and sometimes they feel puffy and it, they're a little like sore. I don't understand why. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this alone. I set this to the side, but I know a lot of you guys absolutely love lip oils. We've been getting a lot of those in boxes most recently and I haven't been able to like really enjoy them because I don't feel like they do anything for me. Item number four happens to be by the brand L'Oreal Paris and it is the Galaxy Lumiere Holographic Highlighter. Oh boy, I'm excited for this. Um, I twisted it and it, I didn't break anything. I'm so impressed with myself. So it kind of looks like this white little, I don't know, like highlighter stick, but then look, you swatch it and you have this holographic amazingness i want to see how it dries i'm blending it out that's pretty all this all over the eyes like this icy i don't know okay 
there's something else left in the box but we'll see i'm gonna leave it alone because i want to see how it dries if it's tacky when it dries or it dries to like a powdered finish and then last but certainly not least we have a nars eyeshadow palette this is the height eyeshadow palette let's see it says studio 54 in the front isn't that pretty oh i like that i like that a lot okay this is cute so you have a few pops of colors you have some beautiful shimmers and then you have like your neutrals your nudes you have a black y'all know how i feel about there being a black or at least a smoky shadow in every single palette this is freaking awesome okay i don't know how i want to go with this palette solely because most recently i did a really like smoky halo eye that you guys absolutely loved then I did a very pinkish, kind of pink and purple look that you guys also loved. And that video goes up like I think in a day or two. So I think, you know what? We might, we might, we might go neutral today and see how that goes. We'll see. But we're gonna go ahead, dive on in and try these products, put them into action, and see how they actually perform. To start the try on, I am going to play around with the eyeshadow palette. We're gonna go ahead and I feel like I would normally go for like this mauvey tone. So I'm gonna go for this like muted brown it has a beautiful gray undertone so it's not super warm we're just gonna pack it onto the brush and then i am going to apply this shade directly on the crease i did prime my lids i used the ofra gel eye primer i've used it a few times absolutely love it and i just feel like the eyeshadows work so beautifully with it I continue to gravitate towards this peachy shade so I'm gonna grab that one and only apply that like halfway through the eye so inner portion and then bring it like up until where like my actual pupil would be I mean these shades are performing really well the color is there they're blending nicely and then I'm gonna grab a rounded little blender brush and I feel like I wanna use this bronzy shade. I think that would make a really nice transition between the peach and the outer corner a little bit. Using that very same brush, I'm gonna turn it around, see how it's like still nice and clean. And I'm gonna just lightly dip into the black, tap out and smoke out this outer corner just a little, just to stick closer to the lash line, just a little bit. With my pinky, I'm gonna dip in to this champagne shade. Just pop a little bit of that on the inner corner. Everything blended beautifully, and I do feel like once the rest of the face has been put together, you know, underneath we've brightened, it's gonna look so much better. So let me just um, move on and fill in my base and all that good stuff, apply the products that were not received in the box, and we'll be right back so you guys can see like the full effect of what I just did here. You see what I'm saying? I told you it would come together. It's like a flawless blend. Of course, once you apply some concealer, some mascara, some lashes, my brows, which are all Charlotte Tilbury at this point. Like Charlotte Tilbury sent me a PR box <laughs> with their new launch on all their brow products. And these are the brows that I was able to achieve with those products. Um, I did not film it. I'm sorry, but just saying like I, I didn't even know what would happen but I'm glad that I tried them because they're amazing I'll touch on that on another video maybe do a video for Instagram or something like that but now we're gonna go ahead and do the hollow sticky thingy the holographic highlighter just to follow up on it it dried to kind of like a powder finish so it's not like tacky I'm gonna go ahead and just pop some of this here and then I'm gonna blend with my finger. I wouldn't suggest blending with a sponge. These type of products always blend better with a finger so it doesn't move around whatever's underneath, which in this case is gonna be a little bit of concealer and the blush. That looks pretty. And then you can always build it, but if you have like complexion like mine where you're tan or darker, you don't wanna build it too much because if you do, then it tends to come off like really like white. Um, but if you are of a fair, fair skin, or like lighter than me, this would look really pretty on you. So we're going to go ahead, and you know what? I'm going to bring it up to here, because why not? That looks nice. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and then just add some to the tip of my nose really quickly. 
And then the last product we are going to apply is the Huda Beauty Lip Liner. You guys already know how to apply lip liner, right? You kind of trace the outer line of your lips. You can go a little bit overboard if you want to, just not like exaggerated. I always go like right at the edge of my line, just so that my lips can look slightly bigger. And then just to make my top lip look a little fuller, I will not emphasize my cupid's bow, like that little sharp tip. I line my lips like I normally would and then I create a line right across and then my top lips looks like full, but it's not. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just fill the lips in with this lip liner. Might as well, it's a great formula. I applied a little bit of a setting spray just because like, been going through these heat flashes girl and I just feel like I need it more now than ever <laughs> but you can skip that if you want and here is the completed look my final thoughts on this box is everything that I did try was absolutely phenomenal I'm all about that scent life and this smelled really really good so I don't know whether or not I will benefit from actually using it but I mean obviously it's skincare so it's something that you're gonna have to use long term in order to see a difference or any improvements the only item i did not try was the milani lip oil and y'all already know i already went into that so i'm not gonna like reiterate myself of course but either way guys you're able to customize items for your box and to be honest i haven't received one box where i'm just like ew what happened like not one box has been a flop and i've been unboxing them for well over a year so if you haven't tried the Sheep Beauty box, and make sure you click the link in the description box. There's also a discount code if you want to save a little bit of money on your first box. All right, guys, and that is a wrap for this video. Let me know down below what was like the one item out of my box that stood out to you the most. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxing tutorials, how-tos, and all that good stuff. I know you're going to absolutely love, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye, guys.